and you were sad and skinny. I was sad, so I spent a lot of time. I did I did the work yeah. for two years, right? And then I transferred to Northwestern University to the theater program there. So that's and your that's then, then it was completely different. Then then that was the beginning of my new life. Did it turn around? Did your sadness turn around? Do you remember the day? Was there no. The sadness did not turn around. No. It did no. As a matter of fact, in some ways it was worse because I was being asked to confront it directly because we were doing sort of method work. And and were you able to? Uh, not very well. I, I not very well. I remember my my teacher, Ann Woodworth, a wonderful teacher who I I learned so much from. Didn't even realize how much I learned from until I'd gone to try to work professionally for years. Yeah. And then I went, oh, this is what she was teaching me. Um, she saw through a lot of my bullshit yeah and my charm and my i was facile i could learn lines very quickly i could get a sense of how the scene might work but there wasn't a lot of an emotional truth to the work that i did and she kept on saying but how do you feel yeah. and i remember blowing up at her once anger oh blowing up with her because she wasn't buying yeah my uh well uh well constructed facsimile of human emotion for her Mm -hmm. And she, and remember, she's saying, "Then how do you feel? How do you, how do you actually feel?" I'm like, "I feel, I feel fine, really. How do you, how do you feel?" And I remember her sitting on the edge of the stage, and me, without of out of nowhere, not knowing how it happened, me, uh, like looming over her, like a wave about to break on her, because I'm standing on stage yeah. and she's sitting on the edge, and she's not looking at me. She's sort of looking off to the side, me going, "I don't like." yelling not even at you and you want me to yell and she just said how do you feel like that and it completely undid me did you cry yeah absolutely just like classic you know acting class as therapy which it should yeah. not be right. you know really gets mistaken for therapy a lot and i that's one of the reasons why I, I love Barry. That TV show is so brilliant. It's so good. It's, so, it's perfect in I, every I, way. I've watched it. It's, it's so perfect in every good. way. And I recognize that acting class so perfectly. But like that's that moment, though, where, you know, without understanding it, the relationship between sadness and anger is, is very close. Because sure, anger is not really your emotion. Right. Anger is your last armor right. before you show your actual emotion. Like I felt when you just did that exercise in explanation, I felt it. Like I felt that the that because I'm a guy who lives in a certain or did in a certain amount of anger mm -hmm. out of fear of being engulfed by the sadness. Sure, like that, like or to be judged for your feelings. Well, yeah, I, I don't know. Be, for me, it was vulnerability too to be seen as these these feelings were so debilitating. But it's all you want to do is be seen, though. Really? Yes. You want to be seen, but instead you create some very close version of yourself for people to see yeah uh, innately it's not like you're sitting there going okay, no, 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 no 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 right it's just, it's just it's yeah it snaps together without legos without like yeah, i'm i'm in a, a version of you snaps together like legos without yeah. even thinking right. about it and i'm at this place right now in my life where i'm like i can't i don't want to manage that shit anymore what am i so afraid of you know like that like if i if i open that up it will never the crying will never stop yes <laughs> <laughs> if you if you pay any attention if you pay any attention to the world, the, the crying will never stop. That's right. It's true. Yes. And, uh, you know, that it just kind of locks in with the uh, yes. the sadness that's already there. Yeah. If you already have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a daily thing, man. Yeah. Right? All right, so, so, so that... There, I, so I have that's a bit of a breakthrough when I realize, oh, I'm... I kind of realize that moment. Oh, I am... Which is obvious, of course, but you don't... I'm not looking at myself. Again, I'm shaving, looking at a corkboard. I'm not really looking at the mirror. Right, and that was one of those moments. Oh, it was one of those moments. Oh, I guess I am damaged. Right. And And my teacher actually said, I won't teach you anymore unless you go to therapy. Oh, wow. Did you? Yeah, I did, yeah. And help? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, I took it mildly seriously. Yeah. I took, I, re I realized... I, it, wait, all it did was like open me to the idea that I got a lot of work to do. Yeah. And then, then I didn't do that work. No, you can hold on to that idea. Like, I just recently re-engaged that idea. Like, sure. within the last few weeks. I got I'm a like, lot of work to do. I got work to do. I'm going to go do it. Yep. And then I didn't do it. Oh. I didn't do it. But at least, you know, A, she kept me in her class. Have... And, and, and also, I, I, I became at least, at least aware enough to know that I've got a lot of unresolved stuff going on. And I wonder what that is. Still? Mm, not, not as much. No, no. Not as did much. The work, at that time, yeah. Did the work do itself? No. You 100% did not do itself. I had a nervous <laughs> breakdown when I was 29. Like literally like 
10 years after I don't do the work, 10 years later, I had a nervous, like completely, like I wouldn't wish this panic attack on anyone. I wouldn't wish, I wouldn't wish it on anyone. At but my 20, worst enemies, I wouldn't want to make feel the way I felt for months. At 29? 29, yeah, yeah. So a month married, one month married. How about that? How's that a wedding present for your wife? Is that the guy that she thought she married, she comes home, she's like, what did you do all day? I'm like walking tight circles around a couch. Yeah. You know? Wow. She's like, how was your day? And I'm like, you're looking at it because I was just, <laughs> if, I, if I physically kept moving, if I physically kept moving, like it wouldn't get me. Oh, do you know what I mean? From the inside. Or back here, back oh, in the yeah, peripheral oh, vision where oh, you can't yeah, yeah. see it. It's always there. Yeah. The worst possible thing that'll right. ever happen to oh, you. Oh, right, right. Which must never be named. Yeah. Or yeah. ever be known. Right. You just got to stay steady. Stay just, busy. Just keep, keep moving. Just yeah. keep moving. Keep moving. That was at 29. Yeah, yeah. 